<laughs> Howdy, folks. Hi, everybody. Welcome so to the to show. <laughs> he has just been philosophizing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the sayings of Larry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, was just I just said I'm merely a pawn in the game of cooking cheap. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't sure if they were going to let you through the camera or not. What have you got? I have been begging for people to send me money for years. Mm -hmm. Finally, someone has come through, and thank you. Dear Larry, I enjoy seeing your show Saturday evening at 5. I buy a box of crackers and go crazy. <laughs> when you're cooking food, I crave. Big fan of your show. You are a good cooking show. And it goes on and on. But this is from my big fan, my big fan, Jay Rogers. And Jay is from Roxboro, North Carolina. And Jay, I want to thank you. You know, I really don't need the money. But Jay, thank you an awful lot, because I never say no to a buck. <laughs> <laughs> that, yes, isn't that nice? And I'll ah. get my 50 cents out of him <laughs> one way or the other. <laughs> Well, listen, we got this letter. Oh, my chiropractic right. card fell out. Oh, no. Oh, how embarrassing. Um, yeah, he's got this bad throat condition. He keeps going to the chiropractor. Have to go back to the chiropractor <laughs> on January 11th. Well, anyway, uh, Mrs. E.S. Humphreys from South Main Street in Lexington, Virginia, has taken us to task because, oh. well, first of all, she, she says the bubble and squeak recipe had not even a nodding relationship to bubble and squeak. squeak. The real dish is made with potatoes so-and-so, so-and-so. Then she went on about how bad we were about doing toad in the hole. We had no idea what we were doing there. And then she said that no one in England, not one Englishman in a hundred would even have heard of or know what a black forest cake is. Well, now, Ms. Humphreys, I hate to tell you, but uh -oh. maybe you haven't been to England recently. Uh -oh. The recipes for bubble and squeak and toad in the hole came from the cookbook of the Women's Club of Salisbury, England, and the Times of London had a large article that was reported by the BBC, and I personally read in the newspaper, that talked about the most, the most favorite dessert in their poll of London was Black Forest Cake. So, gee whiz, thanks for your letter. And we're always glad to argue with somebody on the air. Wow. <laughs> well, that's true, but we didn't just make those things up. Oh, good, that looks real tasty. Oh, what I else forgot we to got wash there? it. Mm. Anyway, ooh, ooh. dear Lieben and Larry, <laughs> get some idea whose show this is today? Please send me your cheesecake and fried beans and rice recipe. Boy, those sound good together. My husband and I get a kick out of your program every Saturday that I can watch it. Um, yeah, Mrs. M Mrs. Sue Hudnall of Troutville, Virginia. Here's a letter from a, a viewer in Maryland that says, I'm not sending a sace. I don't want any recipes. <laughs> so, so there, keep them to yourself. Yeah, and they want to know, can you make a shepherd's pie on your TV program? I We've don't know that. the full. Yeah, but we would did it. Would you believe? Nine years ago, we did it. <laughs> I, I was going to say, would you believe the shepherd pie was the very first recipe That's on this right. show. It I was. prepared it myself. Nine years ago, That's so right. if you buy our cookbook, it's in there. It's, well, and also, they, he, this uh, reviewer wants to know if we know how to cook kidneys. Well, yes, and there's a kidney recipe for a delicious kidney stew in our cookbook, too. Dear guys, seems like I am writing you all the time. That's because I watch you all the time. Aww. Love your show. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And uh, wants this uh, macaroni dishes from Helen Ford, Bristol, Tennessee. And we got another one with a have a nice day. Uh, uh, one of them oh, uh, smiley, smiley faces printed on it says, please feel free to send any other recipes. Uh, my fiance and I are getting married next year, and I'm collecting recipes oh, now. Perfect. Unlike uh, uh -huh. our lovely Maureen, who hasn't learned to cook yet, and she already been married two weeks. Miss Amy Elizabeth Popel, or Popple, from Chester, Virginia. Thank you well, very much. Nice. Some wonderful. What did you see our little presentation? I did. I thought that was great. That, We're doing uh, green vegetables. Miss Doris put this together Isn't for that us lovely? today. I'm not sure what it signifies. It looks like a little animal, maybe, with uh, green it, ears. Well, it looks like the Muppets went wild and are going to do a little show right out of our I'm fry leaving. daddy here. Let's, there it is. Let's Isn't go. that pretty? Larry, I think before we really get into these recipes... And Excuse maybe me, we, I've hooked myself on oh, a closet no, door with my microphone here. It's I the think maybe we could, uh, we could show everybody where these green vegetables come from that we're going to be using today. What? Yes. You mean we actually have footage? Yes, we do. That's we, a French cinema we, we went out to firm. a very oh. expensive garden store to buy these green 
eating vegetables. And while we were there, the crew came along and took some pictures of Laban and Larry picking out these marvelous green vegetables from their wonderful display. Well, I'll swan it. Now, now, what are you doing here? I don't understand. Wait a minute. Wait, no, no, no. I, I think they've got the wrong tape up here. I, what? This what? certainly huh? couldn't be right. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. This now we see where he's really getting what? Uh, the green vegetables. Oh, no. Vegetables. Oh, they can't oh, show this one. This is sort of the we'll be humiliated. flower of the television. Oh, no. Oh. oh, that old trick. The old paint the red stuff green trick. Oh, oh look at that. Who would be fooled by such a thing oh, as this? I don't this? know. Hmm. Well, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, well, they're such a bunch of buffoons, those two boys. Who are they, anyway? I don't know. Surely they're not anybody we would know. There are somebody we know. Don't call me Shirley. Oh, <laughs> my heavens, isn't that funny? Oh, old, yes. Uh, well, you need a little eye shadow. That, that is <laughs> and there remember. he is, our producer. Oh. And so what are you going to do? Foiled again. <laughs> okay. Oh, Eat your green vegetables. And what are we going to be doing today? I'm doing green beans a la cook and cheap. Oh. Which doesn't mean much to me. I'm going <laughs> to tell you that right now. And I'm just going to start with one thing okay. and then I'm going to let you get going because your recipe is a lot longer than mine is. Well, yes it is. That's now, true. what I'm doing is I am boiling some water here on this eyeball. And then back here I'm warming up about uh, a couple of three tablespoons of margarine. And I am going to toast some slivered almonds, first of all. And I just got some ordinary old slivered almonds. And you turn that heat up real good and you just watch them. Stand over them a little bit. They'll get nice and brown and lovely. Do that first and then you can pour everything else in on top of it. And you won't have to, you know, like do up 52 pans on this recipe if you just plan a little. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I have here about a pound of fresh, fresh green beans. And uh, what I'm going to do now, and I have some water boiling over here, and what I'm going to do is commit these beans to the water. Oh. But I'm stringing the beans first and cutting off any bad places on the eye, and, you know, any bad places on them. Just, mm -hmm. these are stringless bean, well, they were stringless until I said something about it, but these are relatively stringless green beans. Doesn't say whether I'm supposed to snap them. Am I supposed to snap no, them? No, you don't need to. It says pick over string beans. Okay. Actually, the new huh? way of doing green beans. Oh, uh, for heaven's sake. Is you leave the little pointy end on and you no. break off the stem no. end. Oh, why? My, my What's folks wrong told me it wasn't right. Get it out of there. It's a it's horrible. You're thinking about those old beans from years ago when we were I'm children not in the country. The points on, ladies and gentlemen. I was always taught to do it that way. And I don't care what's trendy. That's what I'm going to do. Because I do believe Harumph. there's probably something in that little point we shouldn't be eating. No. Or we wouldn't have been you, throwing them away all these years. It should be there. That way years. people know it's a green bean. Well, anyway, bologna on it. Let me show you a batter that I'm going to do for my green vegetable. I've got no one and a third cups of flour. That's plain flour, not self-rising. To that, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Excuse me while Here's I dance over Here's here. Pepper. Thank you so much. I don't know what to do without me. Do you know what to do without me? Yeah, I have a good time, itself, right? And, right? And I need uh, a teaspoon of salt, and I need a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Do, 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 do. And it's not real important about measuring this Ooh, down to the. These slivered almonds smell good, and they're starting and to get brown too. I need a tablespoonful of oil. Boink. You really don't have to measure this down to the wire and two beaten egg yolks. And let's see if I can do this. Gosh, Levin. You were a little heavy with that, <laughs> that pepper. Oh. I'm about to explode. Oh, really? Yeah, you have to reserve your whites, so you have to separate them. And the yolks go right down in there. And there's nothing around here strong enough to break these eggs on. Well, why don't you do it on the edge of this thing? Whoops! That was close. Why don't you why? do it on the edge of your cutting board? It's oh, real heavy duty. I don't duty. know. I swear. Now, here's the egg whites. It's the new way of doing it, you know. Oh, no. Everyone's now, breaking their eggs on the sides of This is a bottle of beer. Board. And now there are 98 bottles of beer on the wall, and you need half a bottle look, of look, beer. Look, look. Yeah, well, and cheers. It, it really ought to be stale. But that's the way it goes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're going to mix all of this up in your pan. Huh? It has what? 
one. And you, you mix oh, it, this it up. Does. What? <laughs> My cup's got a hole in it. <laughs> we'll drink it fast. <laughs> Thank you. I will. All right. Now, you, you, you mix this batter up like this, like we've done here, and then you set it aside because it's got to cure for about three hours or oh. more. Now, here are my egg whites that I have reserved. Yes. And I brought some more egg whites somewhere. Quick, under the, under the stove. They're there. They're behind you. Is that the egg whites or the beer? That's <laughs> egg. <laughs> Let me tell you, I had a terrible thing happen to me on the way here today. Oh, no. In the car, yeah. my little plastic uh, thingies, <laughs> the one that had the stale beer in it, came open, and the stale beer spilled out my auto, oh, so I had to stop and I get would, some additional If you get beer. stopped on the way home, you're going to be in real big trouble. Now we got to whip <laughs> these egg whites this. into submission, into stiff peaks. There, there we go. Isn't this fun? And it doesn't take long if you use a small bowl. I'm still snapping beans well, over I can here. Tell. It just takes a while to do this. There's just no shortcut. Now there is a brand new method that has just been invented, and that's two at a time. It's it's really it's everybody's doing it. It's amazing. It's the terribly trendy thing to do. Now back now to Mr. See. Johnson. Oh, now who we got is our... leaving the stiff peaks. Ah, now I'll get you. All right. Anyway, there are stiff peaks, and here's batter that I made earlier today that has been curing for the appropriate number of hours. And we're going to fold these egg whites into this batter. It's such a lovely bowl you have there. Well, you know, you do what you have to do. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, they're making that crossbones again out there. I don't know what that means. And you really do, you want to fold this, and now we can put all of this over into the bowl. Half a pound. Oh, I'm so proud of you over there. You know, it's real tedious. It's like shelling peas and things like that. But in a way, you can work all your anxieties out. And Larry, I know you've been real tense today. Oh, I have. Watch this one. Laban drugs. <laughs> See that? really three quarters of a pound right. I'll let you know when I get finished right. doing this yeah, I I'm used to do this as a child I had to do it worse than doing this was having to go out and pick them I hated that I hated picking beans I hated picking beans as bad as anything in the world did you all always have beans in your garden oh yes indeed it was obligatory I mean you couldn't have a garden in Shenandoah County without at least two or three kinds of beans in it if you did they come take you away and never see you again that happened to my neighbor. She, they just came, picked her up, and took her off. One oh day. no! I don't think they had much to do with beans, though. Okay. Well, now I'm still folding my batter over here, but this is a beer batter. Well, let me ask you this: When are you going to fold your tent <laughs> <laughs> and go home? Yeah, if anyway. you're not careful, I'm going to do it before the end of the show, and then we'll see what you can do. <laughs> when you don't have Laban to kick around uh, anymore. Yeah, well. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting real tired of this oh, a tedious recipe. You can bring recipe. in that other Larry. He the has one given. That works here. Oh no, and you he mean the other Daryl? <laughs> oh yeah, the other Larry. All right. Now where are those yeah. paper towels? The same thing. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> Little joke, but anyway. There's the batter, I guess and it's I won't ready. Be to and the party here's some year. zucchinis, and we're going to cut these zucchinis up, as opposed to down. Into I can't imagine that anybody would notice these 15 beans are missing from oh, this recipe. All right. that now, I just Larry, threw. I'm going to slice these zucchinis into m about quarter inch slices. Oh, you have your famous slice master. Yes. I want to show people, well, you go ahead and do that for a second, but then I got to show the folks at home a couple of things. All right. Ooh, that sounded exciting over there. All right, now we've got our zucchinis sliced and we're going to put them over here in the batter and cover them up. Now let's put, we're going to put this down in here. And they go right into the batter. 
and we'll see door Perhaps and sound. if you were using a fork or something. Well, I know. So much. Uh, it might be better, might Or here's one of these little things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I swear. Get him in a nose they hold. They treat you so haughtily here. Ooh. Uh, we, we do need to kind of move on. Oh, 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 you go right ahead. I'm just putting well, them down I don't want to ruin the show for oil. you. Oh, well, I, it won't be the first time. Just go right ahead. Huh. Now, if you look over here, if I can draw your attention away from Johnson for about 15 seconds, I'd be happy. Over here. Thank you. Now in here we got, I want you to look at this. These are beautiful. They don't need to go really too much beyond. These beans have just gotten just as green as can be. And if they're not, you better adjust your television because they are real pretty. You only got to boil those for about 10 minutes. So they're going to be just a little bit uh, al dente, just a little bit. Now, over this way, I want to show you these. These are my slivered almonds. You see how brown they are? Aren't they pretty? Now what we're going to start doing is on top of those, we're going to heat those back up again, going to heat them up, and we're going to start putting in some sliced mushrooms and uh, some uh, slivered uh, uh, water chestnuts and such. Mm. The uh, mushrooms, mm. about a half a cup sliced sautéed. We're getting ready to do that right now, and then we'll do our, our slivered uh, water chestnuts and stuff like that. And everything's just going just according to plans, and if nothing breaks down and nothing desperately goes wrong, then uh, what's wrong, Laban? Did you forget to turn it on? No. I I so, think what's going on is that we're having our power failure Now, here. don't be too terribly delicate about it. Oh. And you need at least 10 minutes once this stuff gets going. <laughs> Time's just slipping away down here. Mm -hmm. That's enough of that. Now, open up while you're saute those around a little bit, all right? Now, next thing we need to do is I feel like my sweater's on fire. Oh, it is! You're burning up! That's the only thing that hasn't happened to me on this program, is to have a suit of clothes go up in flame. Now, we're going to also, we're going to add to the slivered almonds and the uh, mushrooms uh, some water chestnuts, about a half a cup sliced water chestnuts. And I'm opening those up right now. I'm going to drain them out a little bit, and I'll be right back. Who are you right. signifying I'm to? I'm signifying to Doris to give me a slotted spoon. Well, you spoon. all playing that game? <laughs> what's, that, what's that game called that you sit, stand around and signify to each other? What? The pantomime si quiz. Yeah, the yeah. signification program, I believe it's called. Well, this is just moving around real well, not quite as fast as it needs to be. <laughs> but I'm not going to try and get too upset Well, about these it. are doing just great. Because if I don't get it done, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have nothing to eat. I'm oh, going to slice no, some of these water chestnuts in there. Going to slice some of these water chestnuts in there, and then in just a couple of seconds. You know, you could have gotten those sliced. I, I couldn't find any later. Oh no! I know I can buy them sliced. Well, see, the new trendy thing is to buy them. Oh, for sliced. heaven's sake! No, the trendy <laughs> thing is to buy the real ones and slice them yourself. That's the truly trendy thing to do. And I have standing by some soup of my choice, and I decided that cream of celery might be nice with this because it'd be kind of go real well with my green beans. You've got to use your head a little on this. It calls for any kind of ordinary old canned soup that you like, and I thought that either tomato or, or, or that stuff, cream of celery, would be real nice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my green beans back here. Did you hear that? It sounded like a horn. Uh -huh. Made some sort of a sound of some kind. Oh, this is heating up now. It's starting to look real pretty. And in a couple of seconds here, we'll drop everything else in there. And, uh, and then we'll put our soup in on top of that. So right now, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drain it back here in the sink. And that's all I'm going to be laughing at. <laughs> Are you know. laughing at me? No, no. What I have just, I done? I just got Did tickled. I do something dumb? Did I drop something? You've got me paranoid now. <laughs> I haven't been paranoid for a long time. Oh, doesn't it feel good? Well, I spent about 15 <laughs> years paranoid in the 60s, but anyway, all right. And here we go. Going to drain those out in the sink back here with a little handy dandy drainer. Oh, how awful. Half my beans dropped in the sink. All right, <laughs> no. now we're going to throw those in this pan. Just throw them in there with great abandon. Have a good time doing it. Get rid of the pan quick. Put it somewhere. Get rid of it. Okay, there we go. Now, this is a pretty dish, I'm telling you. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our soup in on top of that. 
and I'm going to open up my soup right. I'm going to pull it off just a second here, boys. Sorry, didn't mean to do that, but anyway, I meant it and I didn't mean it. Now it says, top with your favorite canned soup as a sauce. And I'm going to do that right now. But this worries me a little because this soup is highly concentrated. So don't you reckon I got to put this in and drop a can full of water on top no, of it? No, no, no. Just, just like just that. Just stir it in there. Yeah. Just like it is. Mm -hmm. Just like it is. All right, that's what we're going to do. Oh, isn't that attractive? All right, we're going to take that and put that in there. And we're just going to have barely enough time to get it done. You want to look at the recipes, Johnson? Yes. Now let's we'll stir do. that around in there. And that ought to be real pretty. Ugh. Okay, green beans a la cook and cheap. You, you, you've read the book, now here's the recipe. Uh, a pound of green beans, fresh ones if you can, a cup of sliced water chestnuts, a half a cup of slivered uh, almonds, which you toast on top of the stove right there in the old margarine, and two tablespoons of melted margarine. That's what you, you actually do it in, you see. And then, and then, and if you think that's something, wait till you see that. French fried zucchini. You need oil for frying zucchini, sliced in quarter or half inch slices, uh, one and a third cups flour, a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and two beaten egg yolks, Stuff's too dry. three quarter cups of stale uh, beer, and two stiffly beaten egg whites. That makes your batter, and it's a delicious beer batter. And I think Miss Witch said she had something today. And well, we'll see, see about if she that. Can get in here. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's I tasty, Bly. Been, what is it? I reached taste? in there and tasted a little. Whoa, whoa, she there she comes. comes. Right. Hi, darling. Mm. Hey, I told you never to kiss her on the lips like that. Mm. And you let's give her some. Yeah, let's see. Dear gentlemen, yeah? I do not like your show. There is just something about you that I can't stand. I think something fishy is going on. Oh, Boom. something And it's fishy. signed Isaac Newton, Crappy Hole, Wyoming. <laughs> well, what? I don't know. What? I don't have any idea at all. I know. Oh. I got it. I got it. What is it? We'll do fish next week. Oh, we'll be fishy next week. Okay. Notice how we figure oh, these things out. Oh, how about that? That's really, really amazing, really isn't it? Well, this stuff is looking pretty and ready to roll. All right, and well, my... And uh, right in the nick of time. And let me get... Not to be confused with nicotine, which is something else. Right. Okay, here we go. And right. potentially bad for you. Ooh, right, boy, you they look pretty. Them. Those deep fried, uh, what are they? Guppies? Zooks. 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 Zucchinis. Deep fried Zucchinis. guppies. Deep fried guppies is what they look like to me. I well, hope they I look a little bit more like angelfish. Well, I'm just going to, while he's gone, I'm going to just sneak some of this on his plate so he won't notice. Well, that well, one is, is just going to have to stay dish. in there and get real brown. Doris, you can watch for that one. All right, here we go. Do do. When zucchini eyes are smiling. Ooh, is there a hot plate under there? <sighs> no. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Did you hear the table screaming? Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Let me. Oh, they they really are pretty. That's a nice batter. They're just uh, lovely. That's the greatest of plenty. Thank you. All right. Well, I just want to make sure you get all anyway. that's coming to you. Get what you deserve. All right. Oh, they're just real crunchy and nice. Oh, these beans are delicious. Mmm. This is good. This is very good. I like it. I like it. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Wonderful. The beans really are good. Now, let me... Did they come out all right? Yes, they did. And believe it or not, they're nice and tender. Mm, Ooh, they this... are just right. I know I'm going to burn myself. Was this real hot? Mm, mm, did you burn yourself bad? No, I didn't. Mm. Mm, mm. Well, I got to tell you, Woo! this is a little shocking, but I think this is a good meal. Mm. I really do. I think so, goodbye. You'll enjoy these. Woo!